Wow! That, that god is something else. What a wacky guy. He can do anything, man. <laughs> that god is something else. He's just a wacky guy. Who would have thought of that except God? <laughs> Hey, man, man, you think evolution is crazy. Listen to this shit. Holy smokes, a guy can do this. He can do evolution. Or the Book of Mormon, the Lamanites fought the Nephites in an epic battle in 400 AD at a place called the Hill Camorra in upstate New York. This, is, this was Smith's fantastic explanation for why there were no white Christians left in America when Columbus arrived. Were you saying that the red men beat the white men? Yes, I am. That even though the white men had God on their side. That's correct. Man. They were praying that to the wrong guy. That is very interesting. They were praying to the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> and white boys were praying to the wrong guy. Yep. Scholars have expanded spent the huge amounts of time and effort trying to link man's civilization to the fictional heroes of Joseph Smith's story. Actually, I have seen pictures of white people. The Lamanites were the wicked descendants of Levi, a craven god who had turned their backs on God and had been cursed with dark skin. I think they said in Vegas. The red sons of Israel, as Smith called them. Red sons. What they left out there was what he meant, which was the red son of a bitch. They can't come into our church. We're wrong. We were wrong. Chuck, I find that fascinating. What did she say? Faith is blessed, but it doesn't make things true. You find that fascinating? I do. I find this, I find this fascinating. I didn't know all this about that. Read that under the banner. Yes. I didn't read I didn't realize there was a... You know, stuff like uh, goes on seeing eye stones. Where's those seeing eye stones? Right, peeping stones. Peeping stones. Where's my peeping eye stones? My peeping uh, eye gall stones. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me get killed flying home. I'm going to come home and I'm going to have cancer and die in two days because of this crap. There, were, there was a lot of poverty then and they, they were, you know, there was a lot of superstition. Still is, oddly enough. A lot of people claiming they were. Yeah. Christ reincarnated. Yeah, there was a lot of, a lot of stuff. Predicting the end of the world. You realize, of course, when Christ was running loose, there was a whole group of uh, rabbi like him in that whole area running around doing stuff, but he got to be real popular. You know, he, 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 he hit the message, you know, Romans said, you know, he's just one of, he was one of about 30 or 40 of those guys that was a, at the same time running around, you know, radical preaching Jewish guy. And you know, the, the, the St. Hadrian or whatever they call those guys that were running the show, you know, they said, geez, we got to keep a handle on this stuff. They're going to blow our religion apart, so we better crucify this guy. You know, so I mean, they did a lot of that stuff with them. Yeah, a lot of that stuff with us. Yeah. Symbol of Roman imperial yeah, We love that. <laughs> so, well, I think it's a well, symbol of uh, rejuvenation. I think it's a good luck charm like the swastika. At least they, the followers didn't have to drink the Kool Aid. <laughs> Christ said, okay, I'll do it for you. <laughs> that's yeah. right. You know, I will do it for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I will drink fun. this cup of poison. <laughs> wow, that was pretty good, Tom. Yeah. Pretty good, Jerry. That was pretty good there, Tom. <laughs> pretty, good, pretty, good. pretty insightful. <laughs> God so loved the world, he said his only begotten son to drink the poison. <laughs> to drink the poison, cool it. That's right. Well, that's an argument that people use. It's called. It's called uh, creationism. It's intelligent no. design. Intelligent, oh, yeah. intelligent, intelligent design. design. Yeah. Yeah. Which is creationism. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm going to continue. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm hear other sounds. Joseph Smith had what we would call today sex ed addiction. <laughs> as far back as 1830, when he was 25, he had to be at a hasty retreat from Harmony, Pennsylvania. When his wife's cousin, Hyle Lewis, accused him of improper conduct. Another woman, Mary Elizabeth Rollins, claimed that he tried to seduce her when she was 12. Smith used a standard Chatham line. God had commanded him in a vision to take her as his plural wife. He was to have many more such visions. Yeah. 
Didn't he have like 87 wives? By the time remember. he was murdered in 1844, he had formed celestial marriages with an estimated 41 women. But as the battle raged, a valiant young man named Moroni, who was the son of the leading Nephite general, Mormon, managed to hide a set of golden plates in the hillside. Fifteen centuries later, this revelation of Christ's true church would be revealed to a poor, illiterate, white farm boy from Palmyra named Joseph Smith. Because we are white, we are descended from what is his name, Joseph or Smith. You know what we say, we don't care how you bring him, just bring him in. He seems to have been particularly fond of nubile teenagers. Imagine that. That's shocking. Typically, Smith would ask his close friends or their wives or daughters, using threats and religious bland blandishments, to get his way. It was simultaneously a test of loyalty, a way of forging a primitive tribal form of solidarity by impregnating his friends' wives and daughters. He could ensure that, even at a genetic level, they were united. Wow! Yeah, they have all that genealogy stuff. That is fascinating. 